Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, darling. Happy July 4th. I hope you're all having a great time. Then today I'm gonna to be making this beautiful fruit salad. So if you're gonna see how I make it, stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today that is July 4th. So happy 4th of July for everyone. I hope everybody's staying safe and just having uh, safe gatherings with family and very close Close friends, tropical fruits that we just got at the supermarket. So we're gonna be using some pineapple, some Northwest cherries. We're gonna be using uh, the use of a couple of lemons. Let's see what else. We have like a plums. Nectarines. Couple of nectarines, some grapes, some apples, and some pears. Guys, it's gonna be delicious. So I'm just gonna put everything on. I'm gonna put everything on a bowl. And I'm gonna show you. Okay, so I just rinsed all the fruit in here. So we have a lot of apples. I mean, a couple of apples, uh, pears. Plums, nectarines, um, the pineapple, and the cherry. So uh, it's the only thing that takes time is just to, pre to prep everything. So I'm just gonna be prepping and I'm gonna show you on from the camera above. So I'm gonna prep and just uh, follow me, okay? Okay guys, so I'm gonna start prepping the fruit. So let me get my compost. My cutting board here. I'm gonna get my knife ready. Actually, I'm gonna take this other knife. This one. This time's very sharp. Okay, so I'm gonna start. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a bowl that I'm gonna put everything in. This glass bowl, I'm gonna put all the fruit in here because I wanna make the fruit right over here on this bowl here. I think it's, it looks better. As I cut, I'm gonna just put it in, in here. So I'm just gonna put this on the side. And the size the, of the shape that you cut them it doesn't matter, you know, it's this is very this is gonna be very organic, so I'm gonna be like pretty big chunks. We have the pear. Because I like to take the core out first. I says, I mean, just whatever size you wanna cut, whatever shape you wanna cut it to me, this is fine. And so, so what I'm gonna do is now that I cut the apples, I'm going to uh, drizzle this with a uh, lime juice because I don't want the apples to turn brown. And I'm gonna get a lime juicer, this. And I'm just gonna squeeze the lime into the fruit to prevent the fruit from getting brown from oxidation. But very nice and juicy, delicious. More refreshing than putting lime juice. And I'm gonna put also a little bit of uh, salt. So let me just mix all this together. So they all get coated as we go. So I'm gonna cut the pineapple now. So this is how I cut it. Cut the end off, put it on. I'm gonna cut the other end off too. 
I think I just put it. Both slices, when it's very hot and you know, and, and you want something refreshing to drink and to eat. It's like, uh, you know, I like watermelon, but to me watermelon is like, doesn't satisfy my, uh, my summer cravings, you know? It's, I think to me this, uh, the pineapple, I like much better. And then I just cut in slices like this. So what I do is I just cut around the, the core, because the core, is, I don't eat it. And then I just, you know, this, again, big pieces like that. I'm gonna start getting the cherries ready. You see this in here? But first I wanna take the cherries and rinse them. Right over here. And I'm gonna give them a rinse. Can you see? Okay, perfect. So I like this tool, but sometimes you have to be careful because sometimes it doesn't catch the, uh, the pit. So you have to, and you don't, we don't want to be eating pits. So you just put the cherry in there. Then just press. You see, the pit goes to the compost and then you just put it in here. So this is time consuming, but it must be done. I mean, I hate having to take the pit out of my mouth. You know, it's a lot of people go away for this weekend for being, uh, I mean, this is a very unusual circumstances. Okay, you see? No, okay. So you have to make sure that you watch to make sure that the pit comes out. Okay. Here we have the cherries, the plums, the apples, the pineapple, And I'm gonna put some of these grapes. Most people don't rinse grapes when they get them. But you know what, guys? Uh, we are living dangerous times, so better to be safe than sorry. And it's better to take that step. People uh, freeze them, you know, and they, they eat them like uh, like treats, like frozen, frozen grapes. So yes, guys, this is the way I eat, the way we eat. You know, I'm not really a chef, so I cannot give you a lot of uh, different recipes because I, I really keep it like to the to, the, to these basic recipes for my uh, for Matthew and I. You know, so uh, when I do my cooking with Michael series, it's just you know my cooking, my real cooking. So that's the only difference between me and the other shows is that I you know this is. Like I call a real eating. So I'm gonna be adding uh, more lime juice. These limes are very nice. Perfect. So guys, as I told you before, big secret is you take a pinch of salt and just, this makes me rinse my hands. It makes a huge difference because the, the lime juice dissolves the salt into the fruit. You know, and it really like makes the flavors come out it's like you know like you know when you do like a we use like salted caramel on coffee the same thing you know it, it enhances the flavor of coffee the coffee flavor okay so i'm gonna give it a taste and if i think that it needs some kind of sweetener I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, so let me start by this piece. Oh, 
Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, rohani because I think it needs a kick. So like a couple of uh, tablespoons. I mean, it's good to make it interesting. Uh, again, this is healthy eating. And um, you no, know, just put whatever you you want. You know, you don't have to put it. You don't have to follow my ingredients. You can put whatever ingredients you want to put. If you want to put uh, powdered sugar, by all means, go right ahead. If you want to put some rum, you want to put some uh, what is it? What is it? Kalua, or you want to put whatever in the call you want. Just go. Just go right ahead. Okay, let me take a taste of the apple. Oh my God, perfect. Mm. Here you go, guys. The perfect food salad for summer. And again, guys, have a happy uh, July 4th weekend. Okay, guys, so I have the final salad in here for you. ta -da! Yes! This is a beautiful fruit salad for July 4th weekend. Yes! I hope you all like it and just make it at home. Okay guys, so it's time to eat. Yes! This is my delicious fruit salad for July 4th. And just want to take a taste. Mmm! The honey and the kosher salt and the lime juice together, honey out of this world. Mm -hmm. Perfect combination of taste. Sweet and salty and tang and also um, kind of soury because of the of the lime juice. Mm. A win-win. Okay guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video and activate the bell guys and Share my content with everyone. Okay, guys, so have a happy July 4th weekend. Be safe and take care of yourself and each other. Until the next one, guys. Ta-da! Yeah! Mmm. Mmm.